Alrighty, so today we're going to walk through how to update your SD card for a Terminator X or Terminator X Max. Uh, Holly is currently on version 3, so a lot of people are on version 1 and version 2. Uh, here a lot of stuff about people not being able to update or brick ECUs, kind of scared to update. So I'll show you how I do it. Best way to get positive results. So first thing you want to do is start the firmware process. I'll go to File, Global Configs. And I want to hit download from ECU. I like to hit save GCF as. This is just renaming everything. So I'll go ahead and clear this out. I'll hit LS base. I'll hit LS base test. This is downloading the file to the card. So once we get done there, I'll go ahead and turn the key off. Out of your screen, get it into your computer. So. It'll pop up here typically. Uh, this is a version one SD card, so you can see 1.8.2. Uh, what I like to do is if you're running a custom tune, you want to go ahead and download that onto the SD card through your handheld or save a copy through the laptop. I do like to flash everything through an app. I do like to flash everything through a three and a half inch handheld if possible. When you do any type of flashing with a Holly, you need to make sure you remove any can splitters. Basically anything on the CAN network. You want only that three and a half inch screen plugged right into the main engine harness. Take everything out. Decoder digital modules, splitter cables, larger dashes, anything else on the CAN network. Get it off of there. That's the best way to do it. You want to go ahead and go to Holly, and then you want to select the version you're currently on. This is version one, so we're going to go in here. Hit save GCF. This is the good custom tune I have, so I want to put that on my desktop just temporarily. So we have a good copy of that. Go ahead and come back up to the root directory of the SD card. Now remember how these are laid out. You see the Holly Save Data Logs TSLCD. This is the main file on the SD card. There's nothing else on here. So we're going to go ahead and delete that. Permanently delete. Yes, we're sure. We've already got the tune file over here. So we'll hit yes. This is going to go ahead and delete everything off of the card. While that's working on that, we'll go ahead and open up the internet. We'll go to holly.com. In the top right corner here, we'll hit support. We'll get rid of this window. Go ahead and hit fuel injection and Terminator X and X Max. And we've got a couple different options here. I want to go ahead and update this to version 3. So here's the version 3. And we want to look for the SD card contents. So we'll go ahead and click that, and it'll start a download up here. We'll wait for that to finish downloading. All right, we'll open the folder. Now, this is the biggest thing people get wrong. This is the zip file that you downloaded. When you open this up, a lot of people want to put this file on the SD card. That is incorrect. We need to click into this. You're going to see these five things. Holly, save data logs, SD card updater, an FWU file, and a version number. This is what we want to go ahead and copy. And then we'll go to our SD card. This is completely blank. And we want to paste. You will know you have done this right when you put the SD card back in the three and a half inch screen and turn the key on, it will do an update on its own. If you do not see it doing that update on its own, you do not have the files laid out on the card correctly when to start over. Once that process flashes for the first time, what that is doing is updating the handheld only. We are not doing anything with the ECU at that point. That automatic update just gets the handheld on the matching version three. It'll say at the end to remove the SD card, just click the card out and click it back in. It will take you to the home screen of the three and a half. From there, you want to go ahead and select File, ECU, HWFW, 
and then upgrade firmware. From there, it will load the firmware onto the ECU. You can do this also if you've happened to brick your ECU or crash it where the LED lights are not lit up or they are white. More than likely, you tried to flash it with a splitter cable or something else on the CAN network. So go ahead and take that out. No hopes lost. Don't get scared. Go ahead and flash that firmware again. Nine times out of ten, it will recover it just fine. All right, so we got everything here. So the next thing we want to do is actually get our custom tune back onto the card. So we'll click into Holly, and at this point we have three, double, three different firmware versions. So go ahead and click firmware version three, and then save GCF. And we want to put our custom tune back on the card. So there it's here. What I like to do is eject this, and I will pull the SD card out and plug it back in. And like I said before, we want to see these five things on the main root directory of the SD card. We do not want that other folder on the card. That's where a lot of people screw up and don't get this flash correct. So let's go ahead and go over to the handheld, and we'll go from there. All right, so we've got the new SD card contents on there with the tune transferred over. So I'll go ahead and show you what the process looks like once you key it on. So this is doing the update for the screen, like I said, only the handheld screen, that's all it's doing here. So it says remove SD card, reboot device. All you gotta do is either click the card out, click it back in, or do a power cycle. So we'll wait five seconds. At this point, you can see it did not do that second, that first flash update. So it's saying we do a TPS, don't worry about that. And then we'll go to File, ECU HWFW, and hit Upgrade Firmware. This is checking the card contents. And then we're uploading the BAM, and it's uploading all the firmware files at this point. And then firmware upgrade done. So we'll go ahead and hit OK. Since we had a custom tune here, it says we need to load a calibration. So go ahead and do that. And it says no calibration ECU. So go ahead and hit file, upload to ECU, okay. And I'll do a key cycle here by unplugging the ECU. And then we need to do a TPS auto set. And I don't have a throttle position sensor hooked up, but you'll push the pedal down twice and this will say successful. So 